Meghan shares weight loss secret does not diet or exercise that she threw. The Duchess of Sussex's former trainer spoke out. Meghan's former trainer previously revealed that he and the Duchess of Sussex spent a lot of time perfecting her posture. When they worked together, and apparently this could contribute to weight loss. Speaking to Women's Health in 2018, Meghan's past PT Craig McNamee said. Generally speaking, we had a full body approach. And since Meghan was on screen, we really focused on posture. He went on to explain that this included posterior chain exercises, for the glutes, back and hamstrings. As well as plenty of core work, abs, back, obliques, pelvic floor. Postural alignment therapy Stilina Burt explains that it's exactly this kind of regime that could prove beneficial for weight loss. She says that good posture isn't just sitting up straight or standing tall, but involves maintaining a decent range of motion at every muscle and joint within the body. The reason that good posture helps with weight loss is because it aids the efficiency of practically all of the systems within the body, she adds. The body works as a unit, so your musculoskeletal systems function or lack thereof, will impact how well you can think, breathe, shift length, digest food and expel waste. A body that moves well, and moves a lot, will indirectly aid the processes involved in weight loss. Because movement helps with the dynamism required to keep the systems constantly pumping. As well as directly helping with more rapid muscle toning. Because the muscles are doing the job they are designed to do and so are thriving and working hard. A body that compensates heavily during movement cannot aid the other systems of the body properly. Because it's already exhausted just maintaining the substandard and inefficient movement patterns. If you are stuck in a heavily flexed posture, aka a slumped, sitting position. Without the muscular function to pull yourself out of it when you stand up, you will find. That excess pressure on the internal organs will impact digestion, breathing patterns and your general vitality. This body when taken to do a gym workout, isn't going to benefit from the workout in the same way someone with good posture would. Because these limitations are still in place, even if the heart rate is lifted and some of the muscles are working hard. There's been plenty of buzz around Meghan in the wake of her bombshell dropping the 7th of March interview with Oprah. During which the American actress, who wed Prince Harry in 2018, and is currently pregnant with the couple's second child, announced that she's carrying a girl. While the tabloids undoubtedly have a lot to focus on. A less controversial subject that continues of interest since Meghan entered the spotlight is her diet. It's refreshing to hear a celebrity focusing on what to eat instead of what not to eat. Says Angela Lemond, RDN, a nutritionist in private practice in Dallas. We need more celebrities focusing on empowering messages around food and eating. Megan's footy first attitude toward balanced eating is as healthy as her mostly plant-based diet. Both are sure to help her stay glowing, and calm throughout her second pregnancy and beyond. Megan told Best Health in 2016 that she tries to maintain a vegan diet during the week, though she may splurge on the weekends. But letting plants take center stage in her diet is a great approach, experts agree. And not just because nixing meat tends to be associated with a lower body mass index, BMI, a common measure of body fat. Vegetarians and vegans are at reduced risk of certain health conditions, including ischemic heart disease, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, hypertension, certain types of cancer, and obesity, says Ginger Hultin, RDN, a nutritionist in Seattle. The key to eating vegan in a healthy way is getting a variety of nutrients primarily from fresh, whole foods, and supplementing when needed. For example, some vegans and vegetarians are at risk of vitamin B12 deficiency, according to the National Institutes of Health Office of Dietary Supplements. But Megan's flexible vegan-ish approach means she's less likely to suffer from such deficiencies. What I like is that she doesn't have an allow list and an avoid list, says Bonnie Taubix. RDN, a nutritionist in New York City. And author of Read It Before You Eat It, taking you from label to table. If she is avoiding animal protein, it's by preference. One final perk a humanitarian like Megan likely enjoys. Knowing that plant-based diets are more environmentally sustainable than those that include many animal products. Compared with diets with meat, vegan and vegetarian diets make use of fewer natural resources and are associated with much less environmental damage, 
Halton says. Megan's favorite snacks is apple slices with almond butter and sea salt. This is a fantastic snack, says Amy Gorin, RDN, the owner of Amy Gorin Nutrition in the New York City area. Apples provide satiating fiber, and almond butter offers feeling, healthy fat, protein, and more fiber. Salt can accentuate sweetness, so adding a small amount is completely fine. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.